that. Hey guys, this is Eskimo Poodle, and we are back to this play Fable of the Lost Chapters on the PC. Last time, we tried to impress a bearded bald man's daughter, only to find out that she didn't exist, and then we did some uh, bare knuckle fighting, and then some other stuff. And today we're going to go ahead and actually advance the quest here. I tried to win at that card game a few more times, I kept missing, so whatever. Oh well. Anyways, let's talk to Buddy Boy here. Been enjoying all the attention, have you? Yes. I heard about your encounter with the Wasp Queen. Most of Bowerstone is talking about it. But, um, you shouldn't let that kind of thing go to your head. Uh, anyway, that's not why I called you here. You see, there are dark forces gathering that put your giant insect to shame. Tell me, how much do you remember of the night I took you to the guild? Of the raid on Oakvale? Not much, I wager. A most terrible night. I thought those bandits had killed your whole family, and that you were going to be next. But it seems there may have been another survivor. Your sister. I'm afraid it's only a rumor, and there's no way to be certain yet, but I thought you should know. And for pity's sake, boy, make sure you replace that basic equipment while you're here. We could replace our equipment, but I'm kind of happy with it. And plus, I'm going to try something, so we're going to see if I actually need to. So I think we just have to head back to Ye old Guild now, and that'll be... Quick! Follow me! Follow you? What do I get? What do I got to follow you for, kid? You're a fast little midget, aren't you? But yeah, um... Apparently our sister's alive. That's pretty cool. But no, uh, I'm not going to replace our equipment just yet. I'll wait till later. Okay, this is the lady I was thinking of, I think. Oh, woe is me. My son is poorly. It's me boy. My poor little boy. We were on a picnic at Lookout Point when he found these... These strange mushrooms. The witch in Bowerstone Key says we shouldn't worry. But she needs more of the mushrooms before she can cure him. I would find them myself, but I need to look after Aldi. Please, could you help us? Okay, yeah, so we gotta find those blue mushrooms for her. We need like three of them, but they're scattered all over the world, so yeah. This way! Follow I'm already me. here. But yeah, I'm not gonna, we're not gonna be able to find those other two mushrooms anytime soon, so oh well. Uh, yeah, let's just head back to the guild then. Also, we need to go fishing at, um,. Look out, points. I think there's a fishing spot over there for something, but we'll get to that eventually. Alright, uh, you got anything Choose to say, bud? Your path no? Wisely, hero. An orchard farm quest awaits. Okay, so we got an orchard farm quest. Nice. We got either protect orchard farm or attack orchard farm. So we can either protect it from the bandits or help the bandits. Uh, we get slightly more money out of the attack version, but that's also the evil version. So we're going to do Protect Orchard Farm. And see where it says Number of Boasts? That's stuff that you can do to increase the reward that you're going to get out of it. So we're going to go ahead and boast. Okay, so Protect Orchard Farm. And let's see... Do the quest naked, so you wager 80 gold and you get 160 gold out of it, so let's do that. Let's take another bow, so let's see, without a scratch, take no damage, it's a slightly higher wager, but also way more of a reward, so that's not too bad. Uh, I'm tempted. Fist fighter, don't use weapons or any aggressive magic, so you, you have to use just your fists. Make sure no boxes or artifacts are stolen. Protect guards. No guards will die. Okay, so let's do protect guards. Let's do protect property. And let's do... Without a scratch. Okay, so if this works, we'll be rich. If it doesn't work, well, we tried. You're the man for the job. Uh, what do you got to trade for, bud? Uh, let's see, you got... Oh, these are titles right here. Okay, we can have... We already have Chicken Chaser for free. Uh, let's go with none of these because I don't feel like spending money Jenna on them. But okay. Isaiah, the yeah, you can buy yourself little titles there. All right, 
I think we should be good to go, and let's go ahead and head towards the quest, I guess. Are we headed the right way? Not sure which way we gotta be going here. Besides this way right here. Okay, so we gotta go this way. Let's go. Hopefully this doesn't work out horribly bad against me here. Uh, you know, let's just go ahead and immediately take off all our clothes though because we kind of need to have that like that for the quest. Yeah, we gotta be running around half naked here. Uh, there you go. Alright, I think we should be good. And yeah, for some reason we got the Union Jack on our boxers there, but okay, whatever, it works. Picnic area. Well, apparently this is where we gotta go, so let's keep going, I guess. So you're going to be doing some work down at Orchard Farm, are you? I knew that was your true calling. I saw Lady Grey set the opposite quest in the guild yesterday. Maybe I should pick it up. I hope you've been practicing. You'll need all the experience you can get to beat me. See you later, farm boy. I don't know if we're going to get the without a without a uh, scratch one, but oh well. Your combat experience multiplier allows you to increase the experience you earn from battles and invisible in the upper left portion of the screen. The more damage you inflict without getting hit, the higher your multiplier becomes. You get your multiplier as high as possible in the following battles to maximize the experience you earn, or try to get it. Okay, so we'll try. We'll see how it goes. Uh, let's go ahead and keep our stuff open here. I don't think the uh, path over here counts as the quest. If it does, well, if it does, I don't, I don't think it does. I think we, I think only when we actually get to get to the farm that it counts. But that's not that's not a good sign right off the bat if we're taking damage right there. I think it'll actually kind of tell you if your if your if you if one of your boasts fails. Okay, you're dead. Good. All right. Uh, let's go ahead with grab our experience. Sometimes it takes forever to get it. I don't want to. That. Okay, got him. And is this going to be the right way? Orchard Farm. Okay, let's go. I hope this is the right spot. And with the autosave, hopefully I can... Uh, oh, the auto farm entrance. With the autosave, hopefully we can reload if I mess up on too many of the boasts. Like, I don't mind messing up on, like, one or two of them, but if I just kind of screw the pooch on all of them, then I'm kind of upset about that and kind of want to try to redo some of it. Okay, deal with... You idiots. Why they sound like pigs when they die, I'm not entirely sure, but whatever. From further afield? Let's go ahead and kill you. Yeah, it took a, took a little while to kill you, but our little experience really pumped it up right there, so that was nice. Uh, can I attack you? That'd be great. Come on. There you go. Alright, cool. And let's get to it. This should be the entrance. Great Little Lake. Well, it's... That's where the map is telling me to go, is this direction, so it must be around here somewhere. Okay, so it's way over there. Yeah, we haven't been in here. Actually, we have been here. We were here, like, not too long ago. Goodbye. Alright, die. Uh, I'm not worried about the rest of you guys. You guys are chumps. I need to deal with this guy. Come on, die. Stop dodging. At least you don't gotta buy arrows, that makes life easy. 
You die. By the way, if you hit, if you get hit, your combat multiplier goes down. I think it goes down by five, or, or to the nearest multiple of five, or something like that. Okay, you're done. We could go after the bandits, but I don't really care about them. I just care about actually getting to the quest here. So let's go. Is there anything to dig out over here? No? You'd think there would be, but it doesn't look like it. Let's go ahead and... We'll just keep going. I was going to pop an apple, but at the same time, it's not really necessary right now, I don't think. Oh, thank Avo, you're here. I thought no one would answer our guild request. I've arranged some more security to back you up, but there are so many bandits that they'll tear my farm apart. I wish we'd never found those damn stones. They brought us nothing but trouble. My wife Jenna won't let them anywhere near the house, so we've left them in some crates in the barn. They must be worth a fortune. They say Lady Grey wants them. I've already lost three farmhands in these raids. That must be them now. I better go inside and look after my wife. She's terrified. I'm not sure what these stones are, but okay. Okay, so we got naked, no guards die, no damage, and no boxes are stolen. I might fail the no damage, actually, but you know what? I'm going to try. Right, get our stuff ready here. And just go after the guards or the or the bandits as you see them here. Okay, so I, I missed that one. That's fine. I don't mind missing like one or two of them, but as long as we don't miss like all of them. So we lose the hundred. We lose the hundred gold we put down. That's fine. Uh, let's see. Watch out! Bandit reinforcements are on the way. They are. I don't see them on the map. Oh, there they are. Okay, let's go with that. Or if you guys want to actually start attacking, that'd be great. Yeah, it's nice enough to tell you when you fail your your boast, so that makes life nice and easy. Like, okay, you die. I think I took more damage there. Yeah, the the no damage one is kind of a pain in the ass, but whatever, it works. Oh well. Uh, let's go ahead and pop a pie there. Might as well Watch heal up the little bit of damage that we are taking. I can't tell if you guys are taking any damage or not. It doesn't look like it. I think there's like four waves of bandits you got to deal with. Ha, kill you. Come on. There you go. Got him. Uh, was that somebody over there? Lead the way. I thought I saw. Yeah, it is. Okay. Uh, you. There you go. He must have snuck out. He must have snuck in from somewhere. I didn't see him. Let's go. Okay, let's try to stick around here then. That way they don't get too close to so, the stuff. You've learned some new moves, have you? Well, you're not the only one. I hope you've learned how to flourish, because that's the only way you're going to get close to me. Go on. Try Use to melee attacks to increase flourish. your combat multiplier when you earn you will earn a special flourish move. When the X icon appears, then a purple glow appears on your weapon. Press the right mouse button to perform powerful, unblockable attack. So yeah, something we have not actually really so you gone do it. over too much is that, I'm but still you know, it, it'll happen every once in a while, I guess. And it was, it's unblockable, but it's plenty avoidable. So we gotta watch out for that, I guess. Come here. It's not something that I actually remember to use half the time, since half the time I'm not paying attention to the little icon in the corner or, or the color of my blade. But oh well. Damn! You beat me again. I suppose this quest is yours then. 
But you can't stay lucky forever, farm boy. We're bound to meet again, and I'll be ready. You did it! I can't tell you how grateful we are! Someone should be round Ooh. to pick up the boxes soon, so we shouldn't have any more problems. Can't see why there's been so much fuss about those stones. Been glad to see the back of them myself. Must be worth plenty Ooh. of money to someone, though. I'll make sure to tell everyone about you. We need heroes like you around. Yay! Those completed, nothing was stolen. Okay, so we only we only failed the take no damage one. So there we go. So we got a nice fat chunk of gold out of that. So yeah, thirteen hundred gold. We got extra experience. I don't know if we got extra experience, but extra gold at least. And we got a chunk of renown as well as well. So yeah, extra five hundred and ninety gold for the for the uh, the boasts. I probably won't bother ta with the uh, take no damage in future, just because it's kind of a pain. But whatever. And we get ourselves a trophy, I do believe. Um, yeah, Whispers, Whispers Brooch. I, I forget what trophies do, but we'll figure it out at some point. But now that we have money, we can probably go rent out that house. Now renowned enough to use the so how much money do we got now? Like 3,000-ish? Okay, close. Six, 26, 68. Can we come in here? No. Okay. You have reached recognized status. Yeah, yeah, something Check about, something about uh, leveling up. That's fine. But it's not what I care about at the moment. Uh, I do care about seeing stuff around here. I'm pretty sure there's at least a fishing spot. There we go. Oh, we got to get a little further away. All right, let's fish here. See what we see what we can nab. Line snapped. I barely even touched it. Okay. Try again. Got it. Okay, cool. Awesome. What do we get? We get elixir of life. Okay, cool. That's not bad, I guess. Uh, let's see. There's some chickens over there to kick, but I'm not gonna have a whole lot to do with that, unfortunately. Um, what else we got here? Unfortunately, this is not one of the mushrooms that we need. It's just a random mushroom that we can't do anything about. Uh, let's see here. Where is that? Oh, uh, the. Is this the path that... No, that's the path out. Where's that little path that is still on the map that's, like, next to your house? Oh, it's right here. Okay, cool. Let's see what we got over here. What's that? You want a grave rob? Sure. Why not? And yeah, we get a dress, I guess. Okay, fine. It's better than nothing, I suppose. Awesome. Okay, cool. I don't think there's a whole lot else around here. I have a strategy guide for this game, but it's the original version, and I don't think they would have changed too much. I'll, I'll try to find it and see if we can't uh, put it to some use at least. Ooh, a jet. I do believe that's a gem that's good for selling. Yeah, jet. So there we go. Not bad. Okay, let's go ahead and kind of curious if our okay our alignment's shifting towards good. I do believe awesome, and then we have a second level of renown, so that's awesome as well. Let's see experience. We have a fat chunk of strength and well, really nice chunk of general. Okay. So I think we're pretty much done with that little section of the farm. Let's check over here, see if there's anything cool around here for us. 
Uh, green apples, okay. I'm happy to grab those. And luckily, I don't think the farmer cares if we if we loot his farm over here. He's happy that we helped, so he's not going to care if we take his treasure chests or anything else like that. I don't think we want to, like, kill his chickens or cows or anything like that. But, uh... Oh, I thought you were a treasure chest. Yeah, from a distance, they kind of look like treasure chests. Oh, well. Yeah, as long as we don't, like, torch his property, I don't think he really cares what we do here. What else we got? More apples. That's beautiful. At least those are good for health. Uh, let's see what else we got here. I kind of want to find a fishing spot that actually gives fish so I can enter in the contest. But so far, we're just getting useful stuff. Nothing to fish at over here. Okay, there's something right there. Let's try that. Almost got it. Let's go. Got it. All right. What do we get? We got another silver key. Yay. I mean, that's great and all, but... Oh, I guess we can fish when there's not actually a fishing icon there. I just never actually paid attention to it. Okay. I think the uh, ripples just mean there's something good there. Either that or there's more to this ripple, and I just didn't notice it. Dang it. It kept doing that. It kept doing that red light, green light, like a, the half a second type thing, and I, it wasn't really working out too well for me. Oh well. Try again. There you go. That one was a pain in the ass. It said, it said the line was about to snap after... After... Frickin... One attempt there, pretty much. Okay, let's, ca let's catch a few more here. Just to have something to show for the... Tournament, if we ever go back there. Look at that. I barely even I barely even pressed more than once extra and it told me, hey, you're done. Whereas the ones with like the silver keys, it didn't really care as much. I guess the actual fish are more dangerous, huh? There you go. Got him. What do we get? We got Just a plain fish. Okay. Alright, so some decent stuff here. We could fish more if we wanted to, but I don't think there's anything I really care about here. So let's just go ahead and almost be done, really. I think we're pretty much done in this little section except for right here. All the fishing, all the fun. There you go. What do we get? We got Coron Vis. Coron visor tattoo. Okay, that's pretty awesome, but it'll probably make us look all scary and stuff. So if you're going for the evil dude, I mean, that's probably not a bad idea right there. I mean, it looks it looks like it 
It looks like it's going to look pretty cool either way. It's just might not be great for the whole being attractive thing. Oh, that was nice. Oh, that had to be some good distance right there. That was beautiful. I should be a I should be an NFL player with a punt like that, and it's still only 28. Yeah, well, maybe my NFL days are smaller than I had hoped for. Oh well. We already checked back here, right? That was just the the grave. Yeah, okay, that was just the grave. So I think we pretty much did everything around here that we could. Let's go run back to the fishing competition and see if they have anything to say about our recent fish captures. I mean, maybe it's good enough to win. Maybe not. We'll see. Do I got to deal with you idiots over here? Probably. Yeah, I see idiots over here. Um, yeah, we'll just have to deal with them, I guess. We don't have any foes on, so if we actually get hit, it's going to hurt. But, you know what, we're fine so far, I think. Here, kill him. There you go. And then this guy right here... Goodbye. All right. Don't hurt me. I beg you. Ah. Yeah, that actually, that actually did not do as much damage as I was thinking it would. And apparently that guy is going to town on this chunk. He's just not standing a chance. You want to drop any experience there, dude? No. No problem there. Scary. Okay. Fair enough. All right. Let's go ahead. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and be right near where we got to go, and then actually, I think over here was where that other potential digging spot was, wasn't it? No, this is the bridge. I don't know. I don't know how we're supposed to fix that, but I think it's either storyline related or we pay someone for it. Eh, either way, we're fine. Anyways, let's go back to the fishing stuff real fast, and then we'll go ahead and. Get some lovely stuff. And... Kill that guy. Oh, you're actually... You're actually stronger. Wow. You put up a fight. Okay. I don't know why that guy put up a fight, but I'll take it. Let's see. We need to go... Right along this path right here, where there's no enemies, that's fine. I wonder if all the enemies got, like, stronger or something, or if it was just that guy. Oh, it was just that guy, I think. Possibly this guy, too. Okay, this guy got stronger. Nice. Yeah, whenever we get hit, we lose our combat multiplier. So that kind of sucks, but whatever. Got him. Okay, let's go ahead and... Kill that guy too. Simple when you know how. Respect is due to that one. Looks fine. There you go. And let's go ahead and actually get back to where I was planning on going here. Okay, put that away. And what do we got? Chicken chaser, I'm I see your sack is heavy today, me lad. Let's take a squint, shall we? 192 grams, wow. Monkfish be prized. That's a true monster. That makes your first prize the top one. Well, there we go. Ooh, a fisherman's hat, nice. Hmm, I guess that means you'll take the second and third too. A hat, a rod, and a silver key. A true seafarer's bounty. Okay, Rod of Champions and Silver Key. Nice. Have you landed any sizable swimmers lately? I'm sure you have shown me this one before. Here's some advice for you. Try fishing in the rain. The big ones like to get closer to the surface when it's wet. Okay. Uh, let's see what we got for our stuff, though, here. Uh, let's see. We got... The Rod of Champions, sturdier than normal rods and able to catch larger fish, the Rod of Champions has been in the hands of the greatest fisherman in Albion versus just the regular chumpy 
fish or rod. Okay, cool. And then we also got. Let's see, we got a hat. We got the fisherman's hat. It gives yeah, 12 armor, so or extra 12 armor, so not bad. We are not scary when wearing it, but it increases our attractiveness a little bit. So a strong aroma of dead fish permeates this hat, decorated as it is with the hooks of great fishermen of the past. Okay, cool. Uh, let's go ahead and pop that bad guy on. Let's go ahead and put on some gauntlets. Let's put on some more clothes because that'd be great. Let's see, villager stuff, and there you go, we're all set. Okay, let's go ahead and, I thought there was a dig spot over here. I must be mistaken though, because I'm not seeing it ever. Okay, let's go back to the guild, level up, and then after that we'll head back to Bowerstone. I think more quests are available now that we have defeated the the orchard, the orchard. But I'm not gonna worry about that just yet. Matter of fact, we'll do Bowerstone next episode too. That's fine. Okay, so let's go ahead and we'll let's go ahead and get some more attack spells of the. Let's see, and flame is. It's kind of like a force push, except it also does fire damage. Fireball is kind of like uh, the arrow spell, actually. The mage's favorite, this creates a ball of fire in the palm of the caster's hand, which flies towards the target when released. Higher levels allow the caster to charge up an extremely powerful fireball. Blah, blah, blah. It's not saying the rest of it. Um, lighting strike is still expensive. Multi-strike is pretty good. Battle charge... Okay, these right here, Divine Fury and Infernal Wrath. Uh, Divine Fury is for good players, and Infernal Wrath is for evil players. Uh, let's see, Divine Fury, tremendously powerful spell, channels the white fury of the gods. Drawing huge pillars of energy from the sky and striking all within a wide radius where they stand. Higher levels increase the radius, probably. And then Infernal Wrath. Calls forth vortices of energy from the nether realms. The portal opens beneath each victim, draining their life into the underworld. I think they... I think you gained some of that life. I'm not entirely sure. Okay, let's go with... Let's go with Fireball for right now. There you go. And Fireball level 2 is actually reasonably cheap to buy, but we don't have quite enough for it, so that's fine. Uh, okay, let's go ahead with some Strength. I want another Physique, so let's buy that. I want... Another Health, so let's buy that. And I want another toughness. Let's buy that. And then skill. We have enough for extra speed. Let's buy that. Perfect. Unfortunately, we don't have enough for we don't have enough for other ones. But yeah, you can also undo your level while you're here. I'm not ever gonna bother it, but whatever. You have you have if you now have more than two spells, plus press left shift to see your spells. Then move the mouse wheel or press O to cycle through them. You can also drag spells from the spell menu. F6 into your quick access spell list in the bottom right corner of the screen. Okay, cool. So, let's see. Let's go with... Okay, that's fine. Let's just uh, start off with... Fireball, I guess. Yeah, you can charge it up, see? It's kind of like the, uh, the arrow spell in that regard, where you charge it up. And if it's charged up, it does more of an AOE attack. I've been hearing that some traders need help. Take the quest card to find out more. Okay, we'll worry about that next episode. So, guys, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys then. Have a good night.